Welcome to a new episode of the Elevator Vlog. Today I'm here again with DJ Angelo and you are becoming a usual guest of the house, I guess. Nice to be back. Mm, really nice having you here. And you also brought something new with you. I did, man. What's so, that? new toy. This is the Reloop Spin Portable Turntable. Looking like a briefcase. A lot of fun, yep. It's uh, easy carry, yeah. all-in-one unit for scratching anywhere you like okay okay all right so let's take a look at it yeah so it weighs about two kilograms mm -hmm. at the moment i have the the cover locked so i'm just going to open this up and show you what we have <clears throat> so uh we have a very fully functional all-in-one unit for playing your beats through playing records on and recording your output di everything in directly on the device. Okay, show very, me Very, very convenient. Okay, so let's first power it on. There's a small on yeah. button there. Yeah. As you can see, we now have power. And what I'm gonna do straight away is I'm gonna connect a USB stick into the port so that we can record our session today. So there's a USB port on the side here. Uh, when I plug that in, what you'll notice is that the USB record light is blinking fast. So what's happening now is the device is reading the USB stick and it's setting up a folder so that we're able to record to okay. that okay. as an MP3 file. Okay. This will take roughly 10 seconds and then... Counting down. There, there, there you go. It stopped yeah. blinking so the recording, the recording is now armed and ready to go. All I need to do is push Again. the record once. And, no. and oh. now it's blinking slowly. Slow blinking. So it's currently recording, and it will save it as an MP3 file directly to the stick, which is super convenient okay. Okay. for scratching anywhere yeah. without needing an external recorder or, or, or you know cables or anything like that. Yeah, neat. Yeah, man. So, all right, let's let's take a look at first of all what we what comes with the spin. Yeah. So included in the box is the spin seven-inch scratch vinyl, double-sided. Some classic samples on there. You also get a seven inch slip mat. Mm -hmm. It also comes with a pre installed stock crossfader, 45 millimeter crossfader, really nice and loose. And the cool thing about this unit is that you can customize where you want the fader to be. So if you're a right hander like me, this is my comfortable position, but I know a lot of guys like to scratch with the other hand, in, in which case they might want to move it here. Ah, you easily, okay. <clears throat> or they might want to flip the cross fader completely so they scratch in hamster. Um, and that's easily done just by removing two screws. Will you one day tell me what hamster is? One day if you're lucky. But All right. It's All not right. today. All right. It's not today. <clears throat> All right. So, yeah. So that's the stock crossfader, <clears throat> and of course, with portable units, there's options to modify and customize. That would be like next question, because I think it will be possible that you uh, can buy uh, third-party uh, devices for this one. Yeah. But also, soon as you release like pictures of it on Facebook, I read comments, people. Mm -hmm. Asking like what are the options to modify um, right. the 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 spin? Yeah, yep. it's part of the culture. So yeah, of course um, there are already existing um, alternative mm. crossfaders mm. that mm. that are compatible with the unit. Um, and in terms of further modifications, that's always possible if you're knowledgeable about electronics and circuitry. Um, and that's what the culture has been, be yeah, been built on, about, you know. Yeah. So if you know your stuff, yeah, there's a lot more you can do to, to pimp your spin unit further. I like that. Yeah, man. Pimp your spin. Pimp your spin. Yeah. All right, so let's carry on. So we have one of these 45 adapters, which, you know, people who play 45s will know. Yeah. Because some 45 records don't have a center, center. So yes. that's just an adapter. So let's talk about the tone arm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we have a spherical stylus that's designed for scratching and it holds the the, the groove pretty well yeah um, sounds good yeah it's, it works really really well actually i was quite surprised um, and pleasantly surprised at how well that works all right so now let's have a look at the controls here so at the top here we have the speed options we have 33 45 and even 78 so you know every kind of vinyl can be played on this. That's good. Which brings me on to the point that it not only plays seven inch records. No, no, of course not. <clears throat> Let's show the people that you're also 
Oh, what's this? It's my favorite vinyl. Something from your personal collection? Yeah, it's just boys to me. <laughs> All right. So, as you can see, we've left enough spacing for 12-inch vinyl to yeah. be played on it. So you can just play it and listen to it. So yes. it's not only good for scratching. Thank you for this. Mmm, that's my jam. Yeah. I like that. So yeah, Give so it mine. it's kind of it's an it's a, a device that's great for scratching, but also for like, you know, record digging. Yeah, of course. Um, and even digitizing your vinyl collection directly to MP3 oh, via the USB. Crazy idea! So you could like yeah, walk man. over uh, a flu a flu market flu market now. Um, Basically, you know, like a place a where... A record fair or something? You think, yeah, 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 record fair and take that baby with you and listen yeah, to the... Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. Yeah, man. So, that's cool, right? Um, we, can, we can adjust the pitch, mm -hmm. you know, of course. Some DJs like to scratch at lower speeds yeah, with ultra pitch. Um, we have a small pitch uh, control which... Uh, can it, it can change the the speed range from mm -hmm. minus twenty to plus twenty, mm -hmm. um, and you can even beat match, you know, with this yes. as well. Yeah, if you wanted to DJ with it, you can yeah. also use that for mixing. We have a a tone control, so you can cut the bass out when you want to scratch and minimize the the rumbling from your fingers. Basically, I normally have the bass completely cut yeah, off. Basically, a little EQ. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, we have an aux in, which is the volume of whatever is coming into the device, either from the, U the uh, aux, aux in, in, mini jack, yeah. or from the, blue the Bluetooth, Bluetooth. Com coming in. Yeah. The spin also has a Bluetooth option, so you can connect a device to it and play beats through it as well. I like and how Everything will come out of the speaker together, the vinyl and the, and the beats. Oh, you Bluetooth. can match everything. All right. That's right. All right. Yeah. I like how this is really a tooth. It's the tooth and it's blue yeah. and it's blinking, which means it's currently not paired to anything. And I'm going to show you how to pair Please do so. that to a phone or uh, some other Bluetooth device. So actually I could play everything on it, like my Spotify, my iMusic, whatever, yep. and stuff like that. Yep. And I also have anything. a USB um, out to record stuff on it. Yeah, man, it's got mm -hmm. everything you need. It's all there, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. wireless, you know, it's, you can play beats, you can re record your sessions. Um, and you're good to go, you know, so it's made it's made Recording scratch videos a lot easier. You know, yeah. you don't need power. You don't need plugs You don't need cables. So that's cool. Show me how to Bluetooth. Sure. And of course the last one is the master, master volume. volume Yeah, master I volume. want to know the Bluetooth thing. Okay, please show me the Bluetooth. All right, so how to Bluetooth easy so as as I mentioned the uh, the, the blue Bluetooth button is blinking which means it's not paired so what I'm gonna do is access my Bluetooth settings on my phone. Yes. And I'm gonna hold down the button. It makes a small beep. And there is so it. So there it is, my phone's already detected, reloop spin. Doot. One more beep and it's showing me it's connected. Yeah. And the blue button is now not blinking, so we have a successful pairing. Connection. Which means I can now run uh, some beats and I'm using the Super Duper Duck Looper app from Babu, which you'll also get with the unit as well. Super duper duck looper. I think that's what it's called. I hope it is. Yeah. Because of the sound, it isn't, I like it. Super yeah. duper duck looper. So, like I said, you get everything out of the box, so you're up and running. The vinyl, the slip mat, the needle, the crossfader, and even the beats to scratch over. Can you show me something on the app? Yeah. Let's see if I press a beat. <laughs> So every little, every little thing there is a beat? You have, yeah, you have a number of different beats to choose from, different tempos. Okay, I get it. And of course, you're now able to... There you go. You can make slow. So everything can be, yeah, you can change the speed on it as well. Oh, cool, cool. And cool. everything will be recorded to the output. That's cool. In MP3 format. Ah, oh, nice. Nice. But USB. it's good for the session, right? Yeah. You get something on Instagram. We don't want to show that. I don't know <laughs> what you get a message on Instagram. Oh, oh it, it goes down in the DM. All right. Okay. Slide in the DMs. Yes. Yeah. 
All right, so I think that's everything I need to tell you about the controls. Um, so let me show you the the backside, the backside <clears throat> real quick. Yeah. So here we have, starting from the left, we have the Kensington lock. If you want to, we have to show that like a little it. bit more, yeah. like this one. Kensington lock. If you yes. want to secure it and not get let people steal it. Of course, the USB port. I yeah. currently have the USB plugged in. Mini jack. We have two headphone outs, mini and a big jack full size jack big jack big jack so Sounds you can even have two djs monitoring at the same yeah, time yeah, if you yeah. wanted to we have an rca out so you can record out into an external source or, or a louder sound system right the power button and the usb port which i mentioned micro usb so you can charge it from there and you can also connect it to the mains from there and you can even run a power bank into it as well if your batteries are low for example or if you don't have the battery if you want to charge it did we already talk about the batteries i don't think we did no then let's let me show it. you that so yeah. there's a hatch at the back here and i'm currently using uh, rechargeable batteries 18650 type batteries which you'll find uh, they're the, the kind of batteries that are used in e-cigarette units and some power banks, so they're widely available. Uh, they come in different sizes, different capacity, different strengths, and depending on which ones you use will, will determine how long your unit will run, ah, okay. run for. But you're good to go for like a good... You're good to go for hours okay. with these. Okay, absolutely. Okay. And that's it. It's as simple as that. It's, it's really convenient. And the last thing I want to mention is that We've been currently recording the whole session. Yes. Whenever, when you're finished recording, you have to remember to stop the recording and wait for the file to be written to the USB stick before you unplug okay. it and before you power the unit off. Okay. So as you can see, it's still recording. Yes. It's still blinking slowly. Yes. You press it one more time. Flash blinking. It's flashing fast, which means it's writing the audio to the USB yeah, stick yeah. right now. And when that stops, it's done you're safe to remove it, you're safe to power it off. But don't remove it before, otherwise you're going to lose that file. Uh, so that's, of course, that's, very important. That, that's important. Yeah, yeah. So don't forget. Yeah. Um, I would like you to show us a little bit of a session. I don't know, like a little bit of a session. Yeah. If you want. You want me to get busy? Yeah. Because that's what you do, right? I'll see what I can do. I mean, beside that, I don't really know what else you could do. So yeah, that would be nice if you could just... Get, get a beer? That would be also cool. All right, we'll do that after. We do that after. But okay. before that, just, just show us what you can. All right, man. That, cool. Baby, all right? Thank you very much. I'll leave the stage for you. To see you next time. Good to see you, man. <laughs>